So, Genshin Impact's Teyrat is a complex world built on intricate cultures of its seven countries and their gods. So far, the story has taken fans to the city of freedom, Mondstadt, the land of contracts, leeway, and the game's newest addition, the nation of eternity in Azuma. However, the next nation in Genshin Impact will be of course, Sumeru, the home of the god of wisdom, and Dendro, the nation will be driven by knowledge and academia. However, though the concept seems straightforward throughout the story, so far, but in reality, Sumeru will be one of the most complex countries so far. So, hello, my dear Hilly Bleach Rituals. In today's video, we'll discuss about all the things we know about Sumeru. So, at number 7, Sumeru is the home of the God of Wisdom. So, each nation in Genshin Impact centers around its own respective archons and their divine idols, such as Freedom in Mondstadt, Order in Liyue, and Eternity in Inazuma. So, in the case of Sumeru, the God of Wisdom rules in the pursuit of all knowledge. In this effort, the nation has developed to consist of society that runs by logic and wisdom. In addition, each nation favors a particular element that the Archon originates from. For Sumeru, of course, it follows the lead of the Dendro Archon, whose powers create life forms from the desert. As such, players can expect a very flowery and plant-like environment when they enter the nation. Number 6 Sumeru is based on South Asia. So, one of the facts that makes Tevat so relatable is its nation's influences from real world locations, just like Mondstadt is based on Germany. Liyue represents China and Inazuma on Edo period Japan. On the other hand, by different South Asian and Middle Eastern influences, largely Sumeru's geography will be influenced by these connections. And if I am not wrong, it will consist mix of rainforests and deserts. Number 5. Sumeru's Academia So, like every nation before it, Sumeru's plot will be driven by the action of its main institution. In this case, the Sumeru Academia will play a large part with most NPC from the nation being researchers from the college. Quite a few prominent people come from the ranks of the academia in Sumeru, especially NPCs like Vahid and Alvani. Other characters in the story so far have also experienced the institution as well, including Lisa from the Knight of Favonius and the Fatui Harbinger daughter. However, both eventually left due to the paranoia of the organization. However, Lisa was the great student of that academy. No wonder why she is so talented. Number 4. Sumeru's Relationship with the Cataclysm. So, there is a lot of speculation that Sumeru will have some types of connection with the Cataclysm. The prominent theory among Genshin Impact fans is that the previous Archon helped to start the Cataclysm that destroyed Kandria. Number 3. The Glided Brigade. So, even nation in Genshin Impact's Tevat has some policies to keep order. Just like the Knight of Favonius in Mondstadt, the Middleth in Liyue, and the Doshin in Inazuma. So, just like them, in Sumeru, these forces will likely be known as the Glided Brigade a group that seemingly works both domestically and abroad. So far, the Glided Brigade is only mentioned by Sumida as a potential means to explore Surumi Islands for her novel. Given the hazardous environment of the fog-covered island, the Glided Brigade will likely to have similar skills to that of the Adventures Guild. However, given its name, it's likely that the Brigade will hold a more militaristic nature. Number 2. The sub Service Festival So far, Genshin Impact players have enjoyed seasonal festivals in Mondstadt, Liyue, and of course in Azuma, like the Windbloom Festival and the Lantern Ride. Just like them, Sumeru will have a confirmed festival, that is the sub Zero's festival. So, this festival was first mentioned by Sayed during the Windbloom Festival, saying that the Mondstadt festival looked a little like the one he remembered in Sumeru. However, little is known about this festival though. But yeah, it was confirmed that it is celebrated and created on the birth of the lesser Lord Kusanali, the Dendro Archon. And finally, number one, the known characters from Sumeru. So, to find out this, the manga is an all-rounder good source of information, from characters' ages to an explanation of important historical events. However, in addition to these facts, the Genshin Impact manga has also been one of the best sources of information on Sumeru. For one, the manga introduced two potentially important characters from Sumeru, Kaino and Kali. So, Kaino is the mentor of Lisa from Mondstadt, who was called to Mondstadt to deal with Kali's curse, and he is an incredibly wise character, just like me. So, Kaino is likely to be an important character to the story events of Sumeru. Given that, he also appeared in the travel thrillers in Sumeru's portion. On the other hand, Kali was a subject of the Fatui testing in Sumeru that traveled to Mondstadt with a deadly curse. After removing the curse, she decided to travel back to Sumeru with Kaino. Both characters are likely to make an appearance in the Sumeru arc of Genshin Impact. And yes, we have also seen Dr. Baiju of the Bubu Pharmacy and also heard rumors about an upcoming 
Indoor Collector, Yao Yao, the student of Xiangling. So yeah, my dear Hiliblis new trolls, these are all the things we know about the Dendro region so far and I will bring more updates about Sumeru in future. So stay tuned for more Genshin content and yes take care my dear Hiliblis new trolls.